So which one of these smart displays do you have at home? We have the Echo Show or the Google Hub. Or are they even worth it? Let's find out. Hello guys, Life Hackster here. When I do review of Wi-Fi cameras, I usually also test and demo it on how it streams to Amazon Echo Show or Google Hub, if they advertise that they are compatible with those devices. So today is the day that will compare both platforms as to live streaming of your Wi-Fi cameras and see which one is better, or do you really need to have them, or you're better off using your camera's respective apps to view the cameras. I'll also be saying Amazon Alex A a lot of times in this video so that I will not activate your devices. First thing, for people that doesn't know, Ring and Blink brands are owned by Amazon, and especially with Ring products. Like their doorbells, they are fully integrated with Amazon Echo devices. As to Nest cameras, which is owned by Google, they have full integration with a Google Hub. Or actually, they are now called Nest Hubs. So Ring products will not integrate with the Nest or Google Home, but Nest products can work with Amazon's Alex A. But mostly, it will be limited. I'm able to control my Nest thermostat and even view my Nest Hello on my Echo Show. Now, there are brands that are compatible to both systems like Arlo's, Reolink, Eufy, and Wise. But there is a big but, and that is latency. There is a long delay, 10 seconds or longer, when you stream the live view from these brands. The 10 seconds that you wait for the camera to stream, that is also the length of the latency of the camera when it starts showing the view of the camera. And this applies to both Amazon Echo Show and Google Hub. So it is not really live view because of this delay. Now there is an exception to this and that is with Arlo's video doorbells, which I first noticed when I reviewed the new Arlo Essential video doorbell. I noticed when I streamed the live view to the Echo Show, there is an option for two-way talk, which I was surprised because this feature was normally only available to ring cameras on Echo Show or with Nest cameras in Google Hub. And this also means one thing for Arlo, for the two-way talk to be effective, then it needs to shorten this latency which it does. The funny thing is that the latency in the Echo Show is shorter than the latency when you use the Arlo's app. Now all other Arlo cameras, like their battery-powered Arlo Essential camera, has the usual 10 or more seconds latency delay. Aside from latency, there is also another thing I noticed when using non-ring or non-nest cameras for Echo Show or Google Hub streaming, and that is reliability. These cameras will work and connect to either the Echo Show or Google Hub one day and not the next day. Actually, it only works sometime and will not connect most of the time. Their integration is not really reliable, and actually there are more times that they don't work. And this happens to all brands like Eufy, Wise, Arlo's, and Reolink. Arlo Essential Camera isn't responding. Please check its network connection and power supply. Eufy Indoor isn't responding. Please check its network connection and power supply. The only reliable brands are the ones that are owned by Amazon, Ring and Blink, and Nest for Google Home. Ring's live view streaming in the Echo Show is like streaming from the app, little to no delay. The same thing with the Nest cameras to the Google Hub. Loading up live view is pretty quick and barely any latency. If you find this video and my other videos helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell if you will get notified when I upload smart home product videos like this video, reviews, product updates, comparison videos, and long-term reviews. I appreciate it. Also, live viewing on both Echo devices and Google Hubs are not designed for continuous 24-7 streaming. They will time out after a few minutes for the Ring and a few hours for the Nest. For the Ring cameras on the Echo Show, I tested a minute and a half for the Ring Pro doorbell, only a minute with the Ring floodlight, and ironically, 15 minutes for their battery-powered spotlight cam. Nest Hello streamed for more than 30 minutes in my testing, and it was still going for more than 3 hours, and I just have to stop the streaming. With other brands, they usually stop streaming around 5 to 10 minutes on both Echo Show and Google Hub. So just be aware that with Ring cameras, they only stream for a few minutes, 15 minutes stops. If you have video doorbells from Ring, they are the only ones that will automatically stream the live view on the Echo Show Someone when somebody pushes the doorbell. And the same thing with the Nest Hello and the Nest Hub. And actually, the Nest Hello is the first one to have this feature. Now, some of you will say, just use your smartphone. You have it with you all the time anyways. Well, true. 
but I'm pretty sure you're the only one that has access to your phone. And if you are not home and you have family or somebody at the house, they can just glance at your Echo Show or Google Hub to see who is at the front door and even be able to talk to them via two-way talk. Hello? I'm pretty sure not everybody in your household wants to download the Ring or Nest app, or do you even want to give them access to your video doorbell? So with this feature alone, we'll let me recommend Ring doorbells or the Nest Hello for your front door because it adds to the versatility of the doorbell. And personally, this is the feature that my family and I use all the time. There's no specific setting on this also. As long as you set up the Ring doorbell to Alex A and the Nest Hello to the Google Home, this feature is already turned on. As comparing Amazon Echo devices to Google Home, I'm going to give Amazon an edge on this. First, if you already set up your camera, which you need to associate your account to whichever compatible Wi-Fi camera brand you're using and want to add another one with the same brand, Alex A will automatically add it during the setting up process of the camera. So you don't need to configure and set it up separately. With a Google Home, you do need to manually add it, but it's also pretty easy. Just click Add Device, choose Works with Google, and select the brand that you already have set up and check for new devices. With Amazon Alex A, there are more options that you can set, like motion announcement with compatible cameras, and with video doorbells, you can also use the Echo devices as a chime on top of making announcement when somebody pushes the doorbell. And you have options on which chime tones to use. At this time of making this video, the following video doorbells have doorbell push announcement and chime options. And that is with the Ring, Eufy, and Arlo doorbells. You can also set motion announcements to Ring, Blink, and Arlo. And with the Wise, you can set person detection announcements if you have their Cam Plus subscription. So your Echo devices will announce that your camera has detected motion. Person detected at Wise Cam V3. Now, the main advantage of Amazon Alex A compared to Google Home are routines. You can set up routines and use your compatible camera's motion sensor or doorbell push to trigger a routine, like having your Echo devices make a customized announcements and even trigger other devices like triggering smart lights. While with Google Home, you will not be able to use your smart device's sensor to start a routine. You can only start a routine by voice command, time, and during sunrise or sunset. I hope Google adds this and add more features for smart home devices in the future. In my setup, just because I use Ring products mostly and only a few Nest, I use Amazon Alex A all the time. Even I also have the Google Hub and the Google Mini. I like that I can integrate my Ring Alarm with Alex A Guard and can set up routines and announcements when a door and window sensor has been opened or when a sensor detects motion, even if I have different brands of Alex A compatible sensors. I did make a couple of videos on how to set this up and I will link it down below. That's it and thanks for watching. And any questions, comment below. And see you on the next one.